Let's be honest, many of the apps in Canva are just gimmicky and don't exactly follow through on their promise, but some are pure gold. Today, I am breaking down the six most essential apps for any Canva designer with a complete design tutorial for each one. Oh, and be sure to stick around for the last one. It's what I used to create the thumbnail you just clicked on. Let's dive in. First, let's use the bulk create app to create this full length countdown timer. First, design your template in Canva. Make sure to include the digits from where you would like your countdown to start. In this case, three minutes. At this point, you can add a subtle animation to your timer if desired. Next, let's open Google Sheets where we will generate the range for our countdown timer. In the very first cell, we need to enter the first digit of our countdown, 3 colon 0, 0, followed by the preceding digit in the cell below it, 259. Now, with both cells selected, click on the dot in the bottom right corner and drag the bounding box to the number of seconds included in your timer. In this case, it's 180 seconds. Our time range has now been generated. Click on File, Download, and export the file in CSV format. Let's go back to our design in Canva. In the left menu, click on Apps, then in the search field, type in Bulk Create and hit Enter. Select the Bulk Create app. Now let's upload our CSV file so we can import our time range data. With the data imported, right click on the timer layer in your design and select connect data. Click on the time range data like so, then select continue. As you can see, Canva has generated a new page for every second included in the countdown timer range. When you are ready, select generate. We're nearly there. As you will see, Canva has skipped the first digit, so let's add the one manually, like so. Finally, we need to make sure that all pages have a duration of one second. Select your first page, and in the top menu, set the duration to one second and click Apply to all pages. Next up is the Typecraft app. Let's display its awesome power by creating this morph typography design. Open Canva and create a new design. I'm using a YouTube thumbnail crop, but you can follow along with whatever dimensions suit your project. First, we need to place our base image on the canvas. For this type of typography design, anything goes. As long as the image has some sort of an outline to work with, Let's use this Nike sports shoe as our base template. Now open the app section and search for the Typecraft app. Here's how the app works. Type your content into the text section. Select your font type here. They provide a limited choice of fonts, but they are all suitable for this type of design. Next, choose your style and color, and the edit shape section allows you to bend the font into whatever shape you desire. For this type of design, we need to add the word to the canvas without any alterations. Identify the most suitable section of the image to place the word, then rotate and resize so it roughly fits into the space. Now with the word selected, click on the edit link and reshape the word so it fits more precisely into the desired section. You may need to repeat this process multiple times before you get the best result possible. Let's fill in the Nike logo, enter the wording, then change the color and add it to the canvas. Resize and rotate. Reshape the word until you achieve your desired outcome. Okay, now that we have the concept dialed in, I'm gonna speed through the rest of the sections so we can get to the next steps more quickly. 
By the way, for the best results, make sure to enter all wording in capital letters as this helps shape the words together more consistently. Now that we have the image covered, it's time to delete the base image. That way, we can identify any significant gaps and make adjustments where needed. Finally, update any colors where required, including the background color of the canvas. Now, let's look at the Easy Reflections app, a simple yet effective tool for creating realistic reflections in Canva. Open Canva and create a new design. I'm using a YouTube thumbnail crop, but you can follow along with whatever dimensions suit your project. First, let's change the background color of the canvas to black, which will enhance the visibility of the reflections. Now place the main subject image in the center of the frame. Then navigate to the app section and search for the app called Easy Reflections. Click on the subject image, then select Create Reflection. As you can see, this app comes with some useful parameters to alter the reflection appearance. In this case, we need to set the position to below, offset to 1, and opacity to 100. Position the reflection below the subject image, then hold Alt and Resize to the exact dimensions of the original. Next, let's add the night sky image. Open the photo section and search for night sky with stars. Select your image of choice, resize it, so it covers the entirety of the canvas. Then reposition it so it sits on the top half of the frame. Select the Easy Reflections app again, and this time set the opacity to 50%. Resize the image so it meets the bottom of the original, then select both layers. Open the Positions tab and send them to the back. Now let's add some contrast between the reflection images. Open the Elements tab, and search for pine tree silhouettes. Select this one, then position it so it sits on the horizon. Open the color palette tool and sample the colors from the night sky image so it sits nicely with the design. Next, hold Alt and Shift to duplicate the trees until they cover the full width of the canvas. Hold Shift and select all of the tree layers, then press Ctrl and G to group them. Open the Positions tab and in the Layers panel, move the trees behind the main subject image. Next, open the Elements tab and search for Lines Grid Technology. Select this one, then rotate it to 180 degrees and position it so it covers the top half of the canvas. Change the transparency to 60%, then change the layer position so it sits behind the group of trees. Now copy and paste the layer so we have a duplicate, rotate it to 180 degrees, and position it on top of the sky reflection layer with a transparency of 22%. Now let's add a water effect. Open the Elements tab and search for Ocean Water Texture. Select this one then position it in front of the main subject image. You will notice there is no option to directly change the color of this graphic. Here's how to fix that. With the layer selected, open the Edit Photo section. Then open the Adjustment panel. Scroll down to the Color Edit section and adjust the hue and saturation levels until you find a color that sits well with the design. Change the transparency to 60% then position the layer on top of the grid line image. Time to add some text. Open a new page then in the text section. Select Add a Heading. Type in your content, then change the font to something chunky like the Horizon font. Then change the color to something bright so it contrasts with the dark sky. Resize the text layer to the full width of the canvas. Then export it as a PNG file with a transparent background. Re-import the file so we can use it with the Easy Reflections app. Then, when the reflection is done, export the image one more time with a transparent background. Import the file to the design and place it behind the main subject image. 
you will notice an anomaly in your design where some of the text reflection appears where it should be blocked by the main subject. Let's fix that. Select the text layer and in the edit photo section, select the magic eraser app. Remove the letters that should be blocked, taking extra care not to erase any of the other letters. The Image Upscaler app allows you to enhance the quality of any small or low resolution image. Here's how it works. Open your design in Canva, navigate to the left sidebar and open apps. Search for the Image Upscaler app. Upload the image you need to upscale, then select your desired upscale amount. For the best results, make sure to choose the most accurate scale to your design. Next, select the enhancement style. I found little difference between all of them, so I usually use the standard setting, but feel free to experiment. Select Upscale Image and review the enhanced image. It's easier to inspect the image by adding it to the design and comparing it to the original image. Next up is the Mockup app. This app lets you add your design to a realistic looking product mockup with ease. Let's give it a try. First, create a design in your tool of choice. I made this one in Canva but you can use your preferred design tool to achieve this part. Make sure to export your design as a PNG and re-upload the file to Canva so you can use it for your mock-up later. Now, open a new design in Canva. You can choose whatever dimensions suit your final presentation of the mock-up. Next, navigate to the left sidebar and select Apps. Search for mock-ups and select the Mockups app, like so. As you will see, there is a large selection of mockups you can use, from smartphones to packaging and apparel. For this demonstration, let's choose a packaging mockup. Once you have selected the mockup, you will then need to drag and drop your design from the Uploads tab and place it on the blank mockup. Once you have inserted your design, you can select the Edit tab from the top menu to make adjustments. There is no indication as to what the exact dimensions are for each mockup, so you may need to re-export your design or use the cropping and alignment tools like so. And that's it. Product mockups made easy with Canva. Finally, we have the Skew Image app, allowing you to add depth and perspective to your images in Canva. Let's make that thumbnail. Open Canva and create a new design using the YouTube thumbnail crop. First, open the Photos section and search for Grid. Select this one and place it on the edge of the canvas so it snaps into the background position. We'll start by adding the title, open the text section, and select add a heading. Enter your desired text and change the font to something chunky like the Anton font and give it a vibrant color so it grabs the viewer's attention. Let's add the robot arm, navigate to the photo section again, and search for robotic hand isolated. Select this one, then open the edit photo tab and select the background remover tool. Next, add the images you would like to levitate over the hand. In this case, it's the app icons. I'm gonna add all of them to the canvas. Now open the app section and search for the app called Skew Image. As you can see, you can either upload the image directly to the app or select one from your design. Let's select one. The app includes two basic yet effective parameters for horizontal and vertical skew. When you are happy with your results, click on Add to Design and delete the original. Let's add an outer glow for added effect. 
Open the Edit Photo section, then under Effects, select Shadows. Select the glow shadow, then change the color to something vibrant and increase the distance to give it a 3D appearance. Repeat this process for all of the images, making sure to give each one an alternating angle. Once you are happy with all of the images, group them together and resize them so they sit nicely on top of the robot hand. You may notice that the darker colored images get slightly lost in the background image. Let's fix that. Open the Elements tab and search for Blue Glow Select this one, then open the Position tab and in the Layers panel, move it behind the group of icons. Since you made it this far, you might be interested in this video. It's full of advanced Canva animation tips. Until next time.